in Vedic astrology. People nowadays are looking for the prosperity, wealth, which we all desire and we all want. But to get that, many have been told to strengthen your Rahu, which is okay. But before you strengthen your Rahu, you also need to know that which will give you the most stable wealth on prosperity in your life. That's Shani, Dev, Ji and Ketu. These two can give you undiminishing wealth and prosperity. But part towards that is not that straightforward or simple. But that sure shot and certain and the wealth is stable and the generational wealth which we talk about and we all want to generate is given by Shaniji and Ketu. How it come and it requires the support of other planets definitely. That's why we have nine planets. But mainly is all about being honest in your attitude, working towards the other's well wish. Because the wealth which is generated only through strengthening your Rahu will come and go away. So till now I have spoken about only the Saturn and Ketu. Now there is a Saturn and Rahu. Rahu's wealth is sudden, gain, shortcuts, all this inconsistency, deceiving and enjoying for only self is involved. How Saturn requires you all those which are given in this video. Other than that also a way of purpose, soul purpose, a purpose for you to serve others and it definitely requires hard work because Saturn means it's a service. Saturn means justice. Saturn means being clear and dutiful and lawful towards others. However, this is a never diminishing wealth. Saturn wealth never diminishes and charity definitely involves. It involves you to be helping others through your knowledge, through your money, through your time, anything. But you are for others and definitely Saturn is not something where people say it's harsh. No, it is not. So check your chart and trace your path towards wealth. Take care.